Hello, I'm James Heaney. Welcome to day 26 of VEDA, video every day in April. It's Sunday night, it's 11.05, and I've got to get my video in. It's tough to get a video up every day. No joke about it. Um, today, I woke up really early in the morning. Well, not as early as I'm going to have to wake up tomorrow for work. But I woke up pretty early in the morning to walk to the farmer's market, where we bought a whole bunch of things. Um... In fact, I got radishes, radishes, kale, broccoli, and cauliflower for, it was like $6. No, it was 5 bucks. 5 bucks for four, or it was like $2 each. So I saved a dollar on it. And then I got herbs. I got rosemary, parsley, cilantro, and what was the other spice? Rosemary, cilantro, and mint so that'll be fun to play with with our new magic bullet to chop stuff up maybe make some salads uh went to a regular store later and bought a couple jalapenos we're gonna we're gonna use that magic bullet quite a bit but and, and this is what i really wanted to bring up and i'm not trying to say i'm psychic or that i told you so but there was a huge earthquake this week and i believe that huge earthquake was it was by the himalayas for sure because there was an avalanche um, which is not that far from Japan. I mean, it's certainly not like, it's not that close either. I think, um, I think it's between India and like China, but I'm really not that sure. I'm not a geographer, but remember when we were talking about all the whales coming up on a shore, on the shore, it was 150. Uh, so that might be. That might be part of what uh, what they were expecting. And when I say they, the media, whatever newspaper I read said, 150 whales beached themselves. That's the same thing that happened actually less than that. There was only 50 that had beached themselves before the Fukushima earthquake. Um, and if that fear-mongering there didn't work, it turned out fine. But here's the other thing that I read this week is underneath Yellowstone, they've always known that this was a super volcano. And they've always known there was magma inside of it but new studies have revealed what they believe and we we never know there might be in 10 more years a new new study that says that this study was all wrong but that it would the the magma underneath it would would fill over 4,000 soccer fields which in my mind i'm like why are they saying 4,000 soccer fields i can't really picture 10 soccer fields very well uh, why not miles or like feet or something like that um, but then I read another one that they were saying is it would fill the Grand Canyon two and a half times now that I can I can't even picture one but the, the vision in my mind of the Grand Canyon means bottomless pit of beauty not do uh, so fill two and a half bottomless pits with what's underneath there. If that super volcano ever went off, what would happen? I'm sure that there's some sort of nightmarish uh, documentary about what would happen if Yellowstone blew. But I certainly will be cautious next time I'm booking a trip out to Yellowstone. I'm not saying it's going to blow, but I don't want to be there. That would be, a, would be tough to escape from. Really tough. Well, thanks for joining me. Maybe, uh, t I mean, I've got a couple busy days coming up, and then, then I'm going to be smooth sailing for the rest of the week. So I'm going to try to make sure by Wednesday I have some high-quality videos for every day in April before April closes out. Talk to you soon. This is the